From VOA Learning English, this is the Education Report. Studies show that children from poor families have more difficulty in school than other students. Now, American researchers may have found a biological reason. They found differences in the brains of students who had low standardized test scores. Their brains had less gray matter or neural tissue. The parts of their brains called the temporal lobes developed more slowly than other children. Temporal lobes and gray matter are very important brain areas, says researcher Barbara Wolf. She is a professor at the University of Wisconsin at Madison. She said the brain areas are critical because they keep developing until individuals are in their teens or early 20s. She says they are important for decision making. Researchers studied brain images of nearly 400 children and young adults. On average, young people from poor families had test results between three and four points below their age group. The poorest students scored between eight and 10 points below normal. Ms. Wolf says one reason could be that poor children do not get the food they need for healthy development. And poor parents are less likely to stimulate their children's brains. Ms. Wolf also blames the stress parents have in dealing with poverty. The researchers say that up to 20% of the test difference could be tied to poverty. Ms. Wolf suggests early action may help children living in poverty. The findings were reported in the journal JAMA Pediatrics. For VOA Learning English, I'm Jonathan Evans. Thank you.